Miss Shadwell! Miss Shadwell? Miss Shadwell? Sierra Oscar from 134. The mother hasn't heard from the daughter for a few weeks. No replies to letters, phone calls, etc. She called the local station for help. They got in touch this morning. Where from? Newcastle, sir. Well, tell DCI I read then. I'll make my way over. Right, sir. Oh, John, who was it found the body? Cool. Bit ripe, innit? Never mind, old son. Nice big fry up when you get back to the nick. Tone. You okay? It's always me. Why me? What have I done? Look, Monroe's on his way. You can't let him see you like this. Why not? Don't be daft. Come on, pull yourself together. You'll be all right. Can't go back in there. I'm going home. Phil! Phil! What are you doing? I'm going back to the section house. You can't. Don't be ridiculous. You found the body. You can't... I know I found the body! Spoken to the neighbours yet? Uh, no, sir. Right. Knock on a few doors then, see what you can find out. Anybody that knew her, what sort of girl she was, last time they saw her. All right, sir. Excuse me. Where's the body? This way. How long since she's been with us? No, no, sir. Earliest postmark on this little lot, 17 days ago. Right. Data's sounding out the neighbours. Give her a hand. Sure. Up here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm... Young? Sir? I'm not talking to you out there. I don't play silly beggars, lad. It's only a body. You've seen one before. It's not going to bite you. Hmm. More like upwards of 21 days. Sir? From the state of her. Yeah, well, Barton Street have done her a couple of times for soliciting on the uh, 14th of March and the 6th of April. We had her in D&D twice in July. Barton Street have got her down as uh, Maria Shadwell and Martine Shadwell. We got her down as Marilyn Shadwell. Well, it's Mary, according to her mother. Well, she should know, I suppose. Last time Barton Street pulled her, she admitted to being a registered drug addict. Uh, she's on the free needle scheme at St Hughes. Uh, no class brass this one, Jim. Can you bag up a sample of the residue on the sheet? Yeah, OK, in a minute. Hey-ho. A great tin of condoms. Tools of the trade. Trade of the tools. <laughs> OK, can you concentrate on the head? I'm going to turn her when you're finished. No obvious signs of violence. Mind you, she's pretty far gone. Be grateful for small mercies. At least the central heating wasn't on. I thought I noticed some wounds on the left side. So it's in the skin? Yes. Usual decomposition. You are right, Phil? Sorry? Did you a fan of one, it? Constable Young? Sir? Surgeon wants a hand. Oh, the stink. M morning, sir. Come through. Nasty. Can somebody help me move the bed across? A constable? Now look, hang on. We know we're dealing with the body of an unknown drug user and a prostitute, so watch yourself for needles, yeah? More than her fair share of pricks, then. Hmm. Thank you, Miss Clayton. We can well do without those sort of remarks. Possible OD? No kit. Well, what about the rest of the house, sir? Anyone taking a proper look? Not yet. Right. John, what do you reckon of this in the corner? Well, looks like capsule casing. Half a capsule. Yeah, there's a whole one here too. Topped herself. Might be dealing with a suicide inspector. Well, what am I looking at? In the corner there. Small, sort of transparent, amber half capsule. Right. I think it unlikely asphyxiation was cause of death. No more after the PM, of course. Right. Uh, Carver's found something, sir. Says, can you come down? What is it? Don't know. Excuse me. Well? Listen to this. Right. I I love you. Mama. I've I'm not well, Mum. Forgive me. Or try not to hate us. I couldn't. I'm, I don't know how to. Please pray for me. I love you. It's for the best. Pray for me. Me and the baby. I love you, Mum. I love you. Please pray. I'm sorry. Dad. That's it. Yes.
kept herself much to herself, according to the neighbours. One or two had said she was on the game. Right. Did you go in? Briefly. Were you all right about it? Yeah. No. Sorry, Jim. Excuse me a minute. Phil? Phil? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you feeling? Me? I'm fine. Yeah, good. Phil? I'm fine. Fine. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Laughing? You laughed? No. Narika, I can't hack it. I've tried, but I'm sick of it. Look, you've got to talk to someone. Yeah, all right. What's that all about? What's it to do with you? One, three, four, young. Skip. And Mrs. Chadwell, she's coming down from Newcastle tomorrow. Give her a ring and try and find out who Mary's dentist was. Sorry, Sarge? Or dental records. Well, if she doesn't know, you'll have to take her for a formal ID. All right, that's it. Off you go. Cheers, Sarge. <coughs> for a drink. Yeah, a stinker, that won't it, Phil, eh? It's your problem. Just winding him on. Well, don't. So we could talk. Not here, not now. I won't. Look, leave the door open. I'm not going to do anything. It's just that I've got to talk to you, please. The girl this morning. I'm sorry, but it's on my mind. The girl this morning, Mary. Do you think she she felt? Anything. Anything? Did she feel anything? I don't know. But what do you think? What? Did it hurt? I can't... I don't think it did. It's not meant to, is it? Pills and booze. Like going to sleep. I really don't know. But I mean, at, at the point... when she died... I think she knew. Maybe she knew. Because it's a sin, isn't it? To us it is, anyway. I'm not being funny or anything, but you know, in Western religions, it's a sin. It's against God. You didn't hear the tape, did you? No. No. She asked her mum to pray for her. So she must have believed in God. She must have th thought. Thought what? Of her soul. Her soul? Yeah. She was pregnant. How do you know? It was on the tape. Pray for me and the baby. How could she do it, Rika? I don't know. Maybe there was no other way out for her. There's always another she way. She must have been desperate. Yes, she must have been. How would you do it? What? Kill yourself. <laughs> It's never crossed my mind. But if you were going to? Honestly, I've, I've never thought about... Oh, come on! Well, I don't know. Pills, I suppose. Look, this is a bit morbid. <laughs> morbid? It's a fact of life. Right next to us, every day. You know that's the second... The is? second suicide you found in four months? Yes, I know. Neither of them have been old, either. It's not as if they were sick. I don't know. The first wasn't even our age. Still at school. They, they must have just said, that's it. You know, no more. I'm gone. You can't let them drag you down with them. They're dead. You're not. Aren't I? Will you go to bed with me? What? You don't have to do anything. No! Please? Look, I think you'd better go.
You really hate me, don't you? Just because I won't have sex with you doesn't mean I hate you. I love you, you know. You don't know me. It doesn't stop me loving you. I don't love you. You could, if you wanted to. It doesn't work like that. I'm not a virgin. Oh, Phil. If that's what you think, if that's what's bothering you. I know the lads say that I am, but I'm not. Look. I went out with a girl at Hendon. It's nothing to do with me. It's important. Because I'm not like the others. Steve and Dave and that, jump in anything that moves. That's not me. I know. With, with the right person. It's got to be the right person with you. It, it would be all right. I'm not the right person. You are. Don't... You are, right? You are. We get on. I can talk to you. I've got to take her mother tomorrow. What? Mary's mum. Mrs Shadwell. For formal identification. I spoke to her on the phone. She didn't know Mary's dentist. No records. What am I going to say tomorrow? How do you prepare somebody for that horror? It's her daughter. What do I say? How could she possibly recognise her? She hardly looks human, let alone... Is this your daughter, Mrs Shadwell? <laughs> Is this your daughter? Her child? Nobody should have to do that. Somebody's got to. Look, if you really can't handle it, talk to the skipper. Maitland? No, Cryer. In confidence. See if someone else can't do it. He'll understand. No. Well, you can't say until you've asked him. You think I'm soft? He won't. He knows how upset you were last time. It'll go down on my assessment. Nobody's going to hold it against you. But they'll know, though. They'll say I'm not up to the job. It's screwing you up, Phil. I don't know how else... It's like it's my fault. What? What's your fault? What? I don't understand. They're dead. I know. But dead? Yes. Yes. Maybe there was... I, I should have done something different. You're, something. You're not responsible. You can't blame yourself. It's crazy. Something went wrong. If I, I could have saved them. How? How could you? How could you have saved them? You didn't know them. It was their choice. Nobody made them. You couldn't... I so could. I could. But well, I didn't. You can't think like this. Don't you see the damage it's doing? I've got to work it out. Well, then take some leave. I've had it all. Go sick, then. I'm not ill. Well, you'll make yourself ill. What would you know? What? You don't know. Giving me advice. I'm... I don't need it, all right? You really... I'm not giving Just you advice. Just don't, all right? You, you, your bloody opinions to yourself. You think you're smart? You think you I... know what's going on, huh? You think I don't know? I know I'm not stupid. I didn't say you, you were stupid. Say... I don't have to say anything. I can see. I can, I can hear you. I think I'm stupid. I don't... Don't lie to me, please! Get off me, I'll Phil. You're you hurting lying. me. Not... Get off me! I want you to go now. No, I, I bought you something. I don't care. I bought it. I don't it. care what I bought you it, bought. Though. Look, I'm bought not it. interested. I bought it for you. Phil! Look, just, just look at it. What is it? But what is it? It's a ring. Yeah. A ring? It's yours. Why are you buying me a ring, Phil? I want you to have it. It's an engagement <gasps> ring. What? Is it the stones? Oh, if you don't like diamonds, oh, we can change it. anything you Look, want. stop it, I Phil. I want to marry you. What? Narika, will you marry me? I, I love you more than anything. We could be so happy. You need some help. I need you. No. Got nobody else. Your mum and dad. That's not what I mean. I'm so alone, Narika. I'm scared. You're scaring me. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't mean to. Phil. Phil, look, don't get angry, all right? I'm not angry. All right. Because I'm talking to you as a friend, yeah? And when I say this, I'm saying it because I'm worried. I'm not getting at you, so don't get annoyed. No. You've got to get... Listen. Listen to me. You've got to get help. Proper help. You said you'd help me. I said we'd talk. You've got to get counselling. I don't need to talk to strangers. Someone that doesn't know me. You... You say you're my friend. I am. Well, isn't that what friends are for? To talk to? Bet you talk to Peter. Oh, he's my boyfriend. 
He doesn't respect you. If he did, he'd treat you better. There's nothing wrong with the way he treats me. You row all the time. I've seen you. You saw us once. Well, then. Everybody argues, Phil. We don't. Look, Phil, um, I'm sorry, but I've got to get changed to go out. Do you mind? Maybe we could talk about this another time. You haven't got to go anywhere. No, I have. You said we should go to the arms. You can't be going out if we were going to the pub. No. No, no, no. You I'm said... I'm meeting Peter. He's still at work. I'm meeting him at work. Where? In town. He doesn't work in town. Um, he's doing a day's relief teaching. So where are you going? Hoban. No, once you've met him. Uh, pictures, Leicester Square. What are you going to see? Oh, I don't know. I don't believe you. It's true. You just want to get rid of me. Oh, what no. have I told you about? I'm lying. not lying. What have I told you? No, Let me listen not. to me. I'm not worth listening to. Listen to. Well, don't lie then. I'm not. Run out! Oh, oh. What's the matter? <laughs> Here we go. What? It's Jim. <laughs> I just popped by to make sure you were right after this morning. Here <laughs> go. Look, I don't know what you're doing in there, but I'll come back later, all right? <gasps> Ooh, you've hurt your mouth. You want some salt water or something? You know, take this thing out. Oh. Hmm? I haven't got any. There might be some in the first aid box. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there is. Could you? Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, do you want? What are you doing? Go away, Phil. Eureka. What's the matter? <laughs> Go away, Phil. <laughs> See you tomorrow, then. <laughs> you bastard! The bloke your own size too big for you! Thank you.